Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to try and demystify myths which are very prevalent with the general population. This is Dr. Ravindran Kumaran from Apollo Fessment Hospitals, Chennai. I am a surgical gastroenterologist and I hope this video is useful. As a surgical gastroenterologist, I often come across patients who say that burping is a huge issue for them. And they even go on to the extent of saying they continuously burp. You know, 10, 20, 30 times in a particular stretch after eating, sometimes before going to bed. Now, we have to understand this is a myth. None of us can burp genuinely 20, 30 times. Now, burping is typically when you have excess air swallowed in. Now, that can be because you're having a carbonated drink such as soda or any of the, you know, the colas or sometimes even beer where you're taking in carbonated liquids. That gas accumulates in your stomach and it finds its way out. Now, this typically happens with children. You know, when you have toddlers who are breastfeeding, they often swallow air along with the mother's milk. Now, invariably you ask, you know, you, you let the baby burp before you put them flat so that they do not regurgitate. Same way, when you kind of drink water, you know, without using your lips, then you can swallow a lot of air along with whatever you're drinking. So, if this swallowed air does come back and that is a genuine burp. Now, that is what is referred to as a burp and that happens often entirely without your control. Now, often you are not able to do anything about it. If the burp comes, you will not be able to control. Now, this does not happen continuously for any of us. If a patient complains of genuine burp, occasionally happening that is fine that is normal if somebody says i'm continuously burping then they've mistaken it it is not burping people try and induce burping as a relief mechanism now they may have some kind of indigestion problems they may have had too big a meal they may have had too oily a meal they may try to go to bed too soon after a meal and therefore as a relief mechanism they often induce this burping and they say they are continuously burping now, the, my simple message is continuous burp is not practically possible. It is not physiological. It does not happen. It is a complete myth. People who claim that they are continuously burping need to be counseled, you know, explained about what genuine burp is and they often realize that is not the, what they are talking about. And interestingly, those people who say they are continuously burping will not do that if the situation is not appropriate. You can't sit in a temple or a meeting or at workplace and keep continuously burping. It will often, often happen at home in your some comfortable surroundings and you do this as a relief mechanism. So continuous burping simply does not exist. Thank you.